Hey everybody! I had a chance to uh, get out and play a little bit. Um, our local senior center periodically has book sales and oh my gosh, I mean every time I go I, I find a good variety of things and <coughs> they charge uh, one dollar per hardback and 25 cents for paperbacks and some of the antique books I found there over the years for a dollar. Just absolutely phenomenal. <coughs> um, so they're, they're running their sale right now and I'm off today so I got to go check it out and they had a little bit more than just books today but of course I did make out really well on books so I just wanted to share the finds with you. Um, something I hadn't seen there before they had a box of Stampin' Up! stamps that were a dollar. So I had to get these little bird cages and the lacy flowers. Super happy with those. Can't wait to play with them. And as far as the books, I guess it would be easier to start with the small ones. Um, one of the tiny Webster's dictionaries. I, I love the tiny print in these, you know, for, for using for uh, crafting. So there's that. Um, Field Guide to Wildflowers. Yeah, it's got the black and white, but it does have color plates also. So 25 cents for that. Yay! <laughs> um, this one is called So Now You Know. One, it's a great size for a little journal. And two, it's just got useless uh, Fact, fact information that I thought would be uh, cute to include, you know, a page in journals in, in some way, shape, or form. Um, so, months that begin on a Sunday will always have a Friday the 13th. Uh, the English invent, invented football, known in America as soccer, when they kicked around the heads of Danish invaders they had slaughtered. Oh, that's lovely! Okay. <laughs> Don't think I'll use that one. Um, Helen Keller was a founding member of the ACLU. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Young female pop music artists with a provocative fashion sense are now referred to as pop tarts. <laughs> so there's some fun things in there to play with. And I love the size of it too. Um, Love this one. I haven't looked at it real closely yet. Renoir. And let's see if there's a date in it. There is no date. It's printed in France. But it also has a New York publishing house. So it has history of him, but it also has the small plates of his art. So these will be awesome to these pages will be awesome to use in journals. Love it! Uh, a tiny version, uh, 1900. I'm sure. Yeah, this would have to be a reprint, but. Sears catalog, but tiny size. Please excuse my stomach growling if you heard that. <laughs> but there's always fun things in these catalogs. Yeah, they can be cut out and used on tags or in collages or whatever. Uh, this one, What Can Woman Do? And the pages are in incredibly good shape. And this is from 1856. $1. Felt that was gorgeous. But I mean look look how clean these pages are for as old as this book is. It's just mind-boggling. So I don't know yet if there's other images in here or not, but the pages are thick and sturdy. Not seeing any more images. 
but that's okay. Um, yeah, but with some repair work to the spine, another good size for journal. And it's got a nice embossed cover. I don't know how well you can see that in this light, but it's corners and a, an oval filigree type in the center. Uh, Self-teacher French. It's got some cute graphics and also French text. Um, verses of love and appreciation. This one's not, I don't think this, it was given to somebody in 1928 and it's copyright 1919. Uh, it's written, handwritten in here, book should have been published in 1918, but on account of a printer's strike, um, I'm not sure what that word was, but was delayed. And then Eloise Farler, is that? Wow, that's pretty cool. That's a handwritten note by the author of this book. That is pretty incredible. So this one is staying intact as is. And it's autographed to Mr. and Mrs. Can't read it. I think Conrad Wright of Denton, Maryland, with good wishes from Eloise. Fowler, author, and an address, May 3rd, 1928, spring, and something signing. It says singing, but I'm sure it's supposed to say signing, but gorgeous. So that, I'm sure there's bits and pieces in here that I can you know, pull out and retype. Um, I will check to make sure that the copyright is not still in place before I do that, but holy moly, to actually have that note about the delay of publication written in, in the author's hand, as, as I love it. One dollar. <laughs> um, this is Henry VIII. And published in 1929, but I am probably going to give this to my mom uh, because she loves, you know, the old historic kings and queens and reading about them. You know, it's got chapters, you know, from sev several of his wives. So it's beat up, but I think she'll enjoy that. <clears throat> um, this one, this is a contemporary book. Timeless Treasures, but it's got some beautiful artwork in it, yeah, that I can cut out and use. I know I can't, I know I can't copy it, I know I can't scan it and use it, because I'm sure it's, uh, well, it's obviously a contemporary book, 1996, but just some absolutely gorgeous images that I can um, cut out of here and, and use. Beautiful, beautiful. My storybook. This one is from 1930. And it's a, it's a children's storybook. Tales and legends. Nature stories. Holiday stories, great men, character building stories, great little art deco style artwork. So that's going to be a fun one to go through too. <clears throat> uh, this is another contemporary one. A Nature Company Guide, The Walker's Companion. And it also has some 
fantastic images. Beautiful fox. Yeah, that can be cut out or yeah, the pages used. Make envelopes, flips, what have you. Artwork of bees. And th this book is just loaded with goodness. A little bit of everything in there. Um, so that is again a nature company guide, The Walker's Companion. It's a time life book. And if you're interested in looking the book up for yourself. Um, doo -doo -doo, copyright 1995. Hopefully the glare is not on the title. If you want to look that up. And this one, <clears throat> Prime Antiques and their current prices. This one I think was right around 1960. Oh, I love the texture of the pages. Oh, 1947. Even better. <laughs> um, but the photographs in here, and this is a first edition. So this one I will probably not be cutting up either. So I'll just, just keep this in my collection. But it does have some beautiful images that my uh, original thought was to cut out and you know, use pieces in, the, in journals. But with this being a first edition, I'm not going to cut it up. Can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then I, um, I also went to a yard sale. And let me uh, put these books back in their box. And yeah, I went to the yard sale on Saturday. Got some goodies, and I haven't even really gone through what I, what I got yet, so, I mean, some things, yeah, I know, but there was a basket, you know, that just had a lot of little stuff in it, so I just, that looked interesting, so I just went ahead and picked up the whole basket, so let me put the books away, and I will be right back with the yard sale finds. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I did stop at a little barn sale yesterday. Um, it's, uh, yeah, the, the guy goes to um, estate sales and yard sales and everything and, you know, picks up antiques basically and resells them. But um, his prices are always very fair. And he, um, he was also having 50% off on everything. Um, so this, yeah, had obviously been sitting around somewhere for a while. I've got to give it a good bath. But it's a milk glass candy dish, and I love it because it's not entirely opaque. I like to call this skim milk milk glass, <laughs> but it is my favorite of all the milk glass. Um, it does have a chip in it, but this will this is basically for my personal use. So got that, and then a stack of these um, little coupons from. Brown and Williamson premium plan where you could save them up and, and redeem them you know for goods almost like green stamps were if you're familiar with that but there's a whole bunch from here I doubt that I'll ever use them all um, but these would be great little additions for journals or cut them up and alter them um, not not quite inches or twinchies but a cute little size so I'm thinking these will be fun to play with and then at the yard sale on Saturday um, yeah, I had to, had to work Saturday morning early afternoon and I really wanted to get to get to this particular yard sale um, and he was only open until 2 and the barn sale was going on Saturday also so I'm like you know, trying to book it home <laughs> and I'm like are you and I'm passing the barn and it's like you know what 
it's 1.30. I'm passing the barn. I'll come back tomorrow. I got to get to that yard sale. So I made it. <laughs> and he actually had some really good stuff left. Um, so this is, yeah, if there's any pricing on this stuff, just to ignore it because everything I got was $20. Um, and I'll have to take a picture of the, uh, the final item because it's one of the, um, thread cabinets that you hang on a wall um, yeah that will be used in a shop or something and I'm seriously going to alter that um, but I'll have to take a picture of it and tack it on at the end of the envelope or the end of the video uh, vintage Paris postcards absolutely love this and some have been torn out but there's still plenty in here and I don't know if there's any dates on here or not So I don't know if they're going to be scannable or not. I'll have to do some research. I believe that's, yeah, that's Notre Dame. Notre Dame, excuse me. I do wish it had a year on it. It's such a shame with that fire this year. Recipe for happiness, okay, from the Sunshine Mother. <laughs> That's a neat shot through the Eiffel Tower. There's some great postcards in that. Um, got some really pretty linens. Can see the embroidery on it, but love that. Super pretty. And the, these linens had belong to uh, the guy's mom and he was clearing things out little doily I always like these oval ones That's a nice pattern. I like that. I don't think that's one that I've, uh, if I've seen it at all, it's been very rare. But beautiful crochet work. Rectangle with some, another beautiful crochet border. And I need this stuff like it, like I need a hole in my head, but you know what? It's better than it going into the trash. I am not sure. National Volks Army? I have no idea what that is. That's what's in the, in the center. But I love, love, love that border. And there are four of those. So I'll definitely get some use out of that. Okay. 
Okay, these must be, uh, probably. <laughs> I don't know what they are. I'm going to guess they're like underarm protection. There's, uh, paper inside, out on the back. I can't imagine that they were tiny, tiny bibs, but they could be. And there's four of those. There was this, which I was just like, whoa, <laughs> your dolly. See if I can get this paper clip off without damaging because it is very fragile. It was given to somebody Christmas 1907. Love the images. Super cute. Love that find. That's how you actually clipped, clipped the corner back on. That's something that could be repaired from the back side. But so cool. <laughs> um, colonial embroidery edging. Five yards. So, so pretty. I, I'll be surprised if there's still five yards in here. There might, it might be. It might be close. But that is beautiful. Love the tiny trims. Especially when they're unusual. I'd love to know how old this is. I'll have to look up the, the uh, company. It's Ger uh, Germany. But there, I mean, there is a good amount in there, and it's in really great condition for the most part. A couple of tags that I thought would be fun to alter. Timely tips, how to care for what you wear. <laughs> okay, and that actually folds out. So that's fun. Davis Taylor Crest. And this is from Washington, D.C. I'm sure there's no date on here, but the styles Late 30s, early 40s is kind of what I would guess. I could be wrong. But that's that. An old receipt that, that's blank. So I thought that was cool. Special guide for brides to be for the perfect wedding. <laughs> And this is from 1953. So the patino on the pages is great. And it's got nice little images. So these could be some, some uh, fun things in journals. I think that's 1953. I don't know, the, 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 the images, the styles look a little older. It's Roman numerals, I'll have to look it up. 
Okay, and a few weeks ago I was looking all over the house for a compass and couldn't find one, so now I've got myself a nice vintage compass in the case and everything. Uh, date stamp. Doesn't turn anymore. So I'll have to see if I can do something about that. But if not, yeah. <laughs> Just date everything 618. <laughs> Just throw some numbers in there. Um, a box of cigar bands. Never even used. But these could make fun tabs in journals or, or just throw them in, um, into collages. Uh, there's a little variety in there. What was this? A pen tablet, 30 pens. But I just love the paper, so the packaging itself was really neat. And there are pins in it. So, ooh, that's a, paper's a little bit brittle too, so th this definitely has some age to it. I will put that back in a little bit later. See, I don't even know what all's in this basket from this point. Um, 10 yards, one inch. And this is ribbon. And then from here forward, it still has the protective paper, so it's a beautiful green color. It grows green, but it's very soft. It's not, not stiff like the uh, grows green you get nowadays. Cool label on it too. Yeah, actually the, the jewelry bits I, I do know about. So just a uh, little rhinestone pen. It's actually a tie tack. Can't say that I've ever seen a man with a rhinestone tie tack. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but a woman could also put it on her collar. All kinds of dirt getting on this table. I don't want it to get on the linens because there are more linens. Cool pair of earrings. Oh, this is neat. This is actually embroidered and it says handkerchiefs on it. I hope you can see it better than what I can see in the lighting here. But that's very cool. Um, two antique uh, chemise tops to sew again on new skirt. Nightgown or slip. Love seeing the old notes. Okay, very cool. So it's got the sleeves on it where you would attach it to the top part, the bodice of whatever you're putting it on. And this is a different pattern with thinner straps for the sleeves. So that's very cool. This one says old dress cuff sets. Awesome. So there's two of these. Two of these. Very pretty. 
Love that. And the pens are rusted. So I hope they haven't done too much damage to the fabric. Oh, I like this. That's not something you see every day either. So that is that. Um, this is super fine twilled tape. One inch. And still, it's two yards. Never even been opened. But it's, uh, it is torn some, so I have to pull some off if I want to get to the new, but yeah, heck, I'm going to distress it or, or tea dye it or coffee dye it or something anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, and pretty little crochet edging. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> um, an old pin cushion with a crocheted slipper, the two little roses, and the pens. Super cool. Even the bottom is crocheted. Awesome! <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> I got some vintage buttons. Some needle threaders, which you can always use those because I can't see the, the eye of a needle to save my life. More buttons. Millward's needles for general household use. So, and the needles are in there. Some stitch markers. Straps, the card to use in, in journals, the governor motor ends, uh, just, a, just a little sewing kit, probably not that old. Push that off to the side. So we have some more linens in here. It's a rectangle piece that's embroidered and the embroidery along that edge, oh my gosh. Now it's crocheted but, but it's a uh, two color crochet unless they went back and stitched over with the second color. And this would be a dresser scarf. Again, a crocheted edge and the embroidery work. There we go. Is that beautiful? And some lace trim. This is two yards for a dollar nineteen. So it's you know it's got some age to it at that price, but it does feel a little bit stiff. Some wooden spools, always like those. Some needles, some black seam binding, half inch. Silk, and again, the packaging, the label, very cool. Another embroidered edging. Do it yourself with Craft House imported beading needles. So, very cool. Again, the uh, the packaging with that. Oh, that's an interesting one. Seam ripper. 
Not what I'm used to for a seam ripper. Hooks and eyes. Eckert Drugstores, Wilmington, Delaware. Again, packaging. Needles. Ooh, love that packaging. Look at that graphic. And this is very small pins. It's super cool. Four pins, lace pins. I have an, another trim here, and I know this rubber band is just going to break because I can feel the dry rot. This is so cute. Awesome! <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as I am with this. Oh my gosh, look how tiny, tiny this is. And this one is definitely antique. You can, just, you can just tell by how soft it is. Boy, my hands are getting filthy. <laughs> and here's another one. Latch hook. Uh, some ribbon. A belt buckle. Not sure what this is. It might have been a pen at one point, but it's got a little dangle at the bottom of it. You can always use these little seam rulers. This was elastic. <laughs> I guess it, yeah, it's it still got some stretch to it, but some pink elastic. Small measuring tape. It feels like paper. Some more buttons. A pair of old embroidery scissors. Whew. I mean, the metal's coming right. <laughs> the metal finish is coming right off of that. That yeah, all that probably go on a mixed media canvas or something. And a couple of thimbles. This one, is this Queen Elizabeth? Yes, Queen Elizabeth. The Queen Mother. August 4th, 1990. Another needle threader from Smith Storage Company. Don't make a move without calling Smith Storage Company. It's the old phone number. 3343. That's it for the number. <laughs> and these will be, that's a needle pack. As is that. Very cool. As is this one. Love these labels. So much fun. You probably got a free shoe button hook like this when you bought shoes from Wallbox Shoes and Clothing Store. And I have never seen one of these. How cool is that? Wow. So, little beads and sequins. More buttons, a little piece of lace and ribbon, some more straps, a couple more buckles. This would be another little sewing kit. Another trim, oh my gosh.
That is one serious needle. That must have been for upholstery. Or even leather work. And it looks hand forged. So cool! <laughs> I love the hand notes on it too. March Singer Sewing Machine Cleaning Brush. Another trim. Another little sewing kit. Small pair of scissors. Cute little pin cushion. It's got some needles in it. Some more buttons. There's like loose pins and stuff in here. Oh, I wonder if this was somebody's wedding ring pillow. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm sure it was. It's got the ribbon strap on the bottom. And some little flowers on the ribbon. No idea how old that would be. It does have some rust stains on the bottom. Yeah, detachable hose supporters. So glad we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> And some fasteners and buttons. So, oh, there were a couple more, a couple of these. Curtis peppermint gum. And I guess this was to, to dispose of your chewing gum. Oh, these were used to clean. <laughs> That's funny. Magic tissues for cleaning glasses. That's interesting, so I guess the gum company just um, just advertised on them. Yeah, because my first, first thought from a, from a chewing gum company, here's some paper to dispose of your gum. <laughs> Too logical for my own good sometimes. Okay, so that was my um, super fun haul. Had fun going through it with you guys and discovering all the goodies in here. Um, hope everybody is doing well. I'm trying to find out, figure out what my next um, crafty project is going to be. So hopefully I'll get into something in the near future. Um, but until then, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you, appreciate you spending some time with me. And we'll hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.